Hello, sexy souls, and welcome to this video about the Scorpio full moon confession and a little Sagittarius new moon activation. Yeah, can you pass that to me? There you go. Thank you. <laughs> so that full moon in Scorpio season, and that was... Um, it was with some eclipses and it really i learned a lot of lessons and areas where i needed to learn to protect myself and these um here's bella <laughs> she loves eating this seaweed or sushi okay <laughs> but my biggest lesson for the scorpio full moon yeah you go ahead was to protect my family. For those who have followed me on social media, I my Instagram account got hacked and it happened just before our family vacation to Jamaica and whoo, it was right before the Scorpio new moon and lessons that I learned from that was, oh, it was really seeing the I guess the dark forces that are out there, the evil, the people who, I guess, take advantage of the innocent to make money in a manipulative way, that it, it exists out there. And that was one of the lessons, but like I had to write it down because it just, oh, there was just so much going on because it happened just before our, our trip. But I was, when it got, when my account got hacked, it's like I was, I was ready to grieve like 11 to 12 years of my life um, on the social media world. And like when I first moved to Toronto and sharing my discoveries and taking pictures of, you know, and it was like, it was a journey, it was like an archive of, me being, you know, moving to Toronto, exploring the entertainment industry, finding my yoga practice, and then becoming this energy healer. So it was such a, a journey, and I, I felt like I had to grieve all of that. I'm like, oh, I'll just start a new one, is what I thought. But then I realized, I'm like, oh, that was me just protecting myself. That was me just kind of like trying to protect me from the pain of the hurt that, um, someone would do that but then I realized that I had to transmute that fear into action and I did as soon as I saw that this person used Bella to kind of build trust to build uh, I guess this rapport that I'm that this person was this family person but then selling these investments with bitcoin and when one of my friends saw she's like oh yeah you got your account back and she's like did you post this video bell and i'm like that wasn't me and then i went to like chill to like angry mama bear mode in like zero to a hundred and it was me and my husband and my my brother just doing whatever we could to get that account back. And oh, it, was, it wasn't easy because I was so emotional. So it's like I, I felt my, yeah, when I say protective mama bear, come out to, to fight, <laughs> you know, to fight. And but my brother was this nice grounded energy. Anyway, long story short, I got my account back. But other lessons was that, um, yeah, that I have this addiction to my phone and it greatly affects my men mental health. Like I, whether it's to, whether it's to promote me or my business or to connect or build, build relationships with other people around the world. Like I, I guess I was really attached to all of that. And then when I didn't have access to that account, like I felt like I lost all of it. Um, with that account, I attached my self-worth and my abundance because of, I guess, where I've been. And then my promote, like promoting my business on there. So I realized that 
how attached I was to that platform and how unhealthy it was. And so I chose to unplug. I chose to unplug from the matrix and it was such a breath of fresh air. So I got my account back and then we still have like six days in Jamaica in this all inclusive. So it was just unplugging from all that social media world, from the matrix, from like that extra energy to to promote, to be seen, to be heard. And you know, it was out of my comfort zone because I, my old self would want to share the beautiful experiences or vacation with the audience. But this time, like, no, it's just going to be no cell phone, no EMF. And it was like, no problem. And I am still navigating how I want to show up in my baby girl, how in the world. But um, it really, it really, it was a mentally and emotionally pivotal moment to be like, okay, I need to chill to not focus so much on associating my worth with being seen and being heard on that platform or my business growing based on that platform. So it's just so many lessons but I, what I think the biggest lesson was a, just a healthy boundary a healthy boundary of like having those double authorizations so no one can hack so don't be sloppy with your passwords and I don't even know how it happened because I didn't even click a link for this person to have access to me anyways I know I still have some energy around it but with um that Scorpio full moon it was very vast and dark and deep and I have my Pluto in Scorpio so it's like a death it's like a a transformative hard boundary a hell yes and a hell no and I I see that um, I'm going to be a bit more protective with what I share with my family with what I share about my personal life because, um, yeah, just to protect myself and my family more. And I think I'm just gonna just really focus on that platform to share more about astrology, share more about energy healing, you know, expand the community, still keep that yoga vibe there as well. But um, yeah, lots of stuff to navigate through. <laughs> a different kind of form of trauma I know it's it's soft but it's uh I, it was still I still felt violated of losing my identity or someone someone used my identity to sell to make money and like it was very offensive when I saw Bella being used for someone else's advantage and that was like a hard no no so, um, yeah, made it into third trimester with this baby. And I know I'm going to be a bit more personal, private, and um, keeping that separate. So a little keeping the April Miranda that you see online, separate from the April Miranda that you, um, you really get to know me when you have one-on-one time in the physical or virtual realm um but that is my full moon in scorpio confession what is yours how was your scorpio season what lessons came up what challenges were shining in your face and just know it was eclipse season there was a a new moon eclipse and a full moon eclipse and so it just seems like it's like kind of unplugging it's like to reset and really unplug to see to what you is important to see what your values are see what you're ready to prioritize and now I'm ready to look at it as information and I want you to look at that as information 
for this new moon in Sagittarius. You want to come out? No, you want another one? Another one? Okay. <laughs> oh man, big mess. It's okay. Okay, so now honoring what happened in the Scorpio season. Now let's get clear with the information that we got in that last um, moon phase or when the sun crosses Scorpio. Now the sun is in Sagittarius. Um, the new moon was yesterday at one degree. So it is like a brand new chapter, a brand new beginning, a brand new um, opportunity for us to write a new story. Okay, so with Sagittarian energy, I want you to see these categories here. Okay, so a quest for truth, peace of mind, travel, freedom, adventure, any legal issues. What happened, baby? You okay? Let me kiss it. <laughs> faith optimism finding the solutions um so it's like a so it's a fire sign so i know you may feel some fire energy to take action but no it's like a wiser fire sign so like aries is kind of like going taking action without any thinking <laughs> and leo is more of a confidence more of a you know taking action with that with that confidence but i want you to see the sagittarian energy as like taking action with more wisdom with more depth okay um so i want you to see like this wisdom whether whatever your connection is with um, I don't want to say religion, but let's say spirituality. Um, in your connection to prayer or meditation or this higher guidance and your connection to your intuition and how that communicates through you. Okay, so we're like connecting to your spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Um, yeah, your higher self, your future self. So I want you to see that kind of wisdom. Okay, so taking that in account as you take action with that fiery energy. Um, Sagittarius is very connected to nature. Um, so see how, see how that lands with you of who you wanna be without the cell phone, without the EMF, without social media, without that world, okay? So maybe even unplug a bit or create a sacred boundary for yourself with social media or away from computers, TVs, blue lights, even if you have an Apple watch, because it all has EMF, so electromagnetic frequency, but also the blue light can kind of mess up your circadian rhythm, okay? So with the Sagittarian season, like ground down, connect to Mother Earth, and work when the sun is up and sleep when the sun is down. And then like connect to the seasonal foods connect to um, that wisdom. Does that make sense? Okay, but also if you know some Sagittarians in your life, they're very spontaneous and very adventurous and see how that, how you want to call that energy into your life. If you want to travel or you want to explore a new land or culture, for an adventure or yeah, be spontaneous and try a new restaurant for new foods and yeah, um, culture. <laughs> but more of the, the freedom and enjoyment of life. Okay, so we call in that for this new moon. Um, anything that is related to the law. So anything with legal issues or attorneys or lawsuits. Um, or let's see anything with like contracts for like negotiation or outcomes that deal with other people okay um faith friendliness good luck and a generous spirit 
yes, yeah, so connecting to that faith again, to that higher power, that intuition. See how vast it, it is. It's just more it's like just instead of like the tunnel vision Aries, it's more expansive and aware. Ooh, oh, philosophy. Yeah, very Sagittarians are very deep in um, asking why, being curious, seeking answers. So see where or what areas of your life do you um, desire more info? Um, <laughs> Sagittarius also rules carelessness. So see where you're taking shortcuts and um, how it's not serving you or making assumptions or being blunt. Yeah, I do. Okay, and any health issues regarding the hips, the liver, sciatica, thighs and upper legs. Oh, that's interesting. I'm saying this because my hips have been, I know I'm pregos, but my hips have been talking to me. They've been, um, let's see. Yeah. That's just part of the area where the Sag rules. Okay, so those are the topics that I want you to stay curious about. Okay? So, more so with, um, think vast wisdom before you take action. And adventure and freedom. But also... I don't want to say this, but more, I guess, like the spirituality and exploration of life beyond this physical realm. Okay. So whether it's like beyond your, your city. So like inviting that travel or beyond your consciousness. So expanding into more awareness. I hope that makes sense. So <laughs> for new moons, it's beautiful to write your like pen to paper okay so not just type on a phone or type on a computer I want you to get pen and paper out and allow yourself to flow with like I did soul mapping I got it from another coach um, but I did soul mapping the other day and I invite this to invite you to just start planting seed which is nice which is what the new moon energy is all about okay it's a new moon new beginning for a new story and especially with the new moon being yesterday at one degree very potent new beginning energy you feel me okay so i want you to have a notebook because we're gonna take up space you see me so i did a little soul mapping so i want you to have one page that said health, wellness, and lifestyle, home, relationships. And that's where you could have your friends, family, romantic partners, children, or even future children, personal development, financial abundance, career, being of service and fun time okay so even with career that's where i want you to put your your gifts and how you contribute to um like using your gifts to serve and there that could be the monetary exchange or energy exchange of how you give and receive and then being of service i want you to see what causes that you are passionate about and how you want to give back okay so i want you to see that difference another one what do you say? <laughs> okay. My baby girl's hungry, huh? Okay. So, now I want to just create some time and space for you to soul map. You want some? Yeah, thank you. Come on. weird <laughs> yeah I think she's craving sushi okay so or maybe this could be um, yeah this could be your homework of what you want to call in 
create. Okay, so even just planting the seeds and knowing your, so that's just how I like to do it. Whether it's finding these categories or these categories with um, the Sagittarius energy for this new moon or really understanding, so that's working with the sun. Okay, working with the sun is working with the Sagittarius energy because the sun moved into this part of the sky. So manifesting with the sun. Manifesting with the moon is working with the new moon phase, that new beginning, okay? But I also wanna invite you to work with your natal chart. So that is knowing your sun, moon, and rising, but also what house is being lit up while the sun is going across the Sagittarian part of the sky. For example, I know in my chart, my fourth house is being lit up. And fourth house is like family and foundation. And like even seeing the aspects that are in there. So with me, I, I know that's why I feel at ease and connected when my family and I hang out in nature without the phones. Okay, so whether it's in Jamaica, whether Costa Rica, or even at the beautiful parks that we have here in Toronto. So that's why I know when I feel at home and when I'm connected to my foundation and family. And also knowing the different aspects in there. So I want you to see if you can like find out what house is being lit up because that's really your ultimate assignment or curriculum or new lesson plan while the sun is in Sag. Okay, um, please reach out if you um, are excited about this or even curious or if I said something that you <laughs> no idea like I know I just kind of brain dump or vomit verbally vomit all this stuff whether it's my learnings and teachings it's all at the same time but um please feel free to have a convo with me in the move with love community in the move with love collective on mighty networks because this is why i created this um community because i want you to not just move with love i want you to move with the sun move with the moon move with your innate astrological chart because it's like we're getting to know ourselves and that will build more confidence okay and the more confidence you have the step into and fully allow your soul's expression to unfold in this lifetime okay and if you're watching this on youtube please join the move with love community just go to movewithlove.ca and let's connect. I want you to stay plugged into these teachings. And um, if you need support, I'm here for you. Um, go to aprilmiranda.com if you want a one-on-one -on -one session. If you just have some questions, go to um, just comment in the video and we can start the convo. Um, I hope that helps. <laughs> I'm here to support you and just to even honor the light and the dark as we navigate this rapidly changing world okay the divine light and dark in me honors the light in, in you <laughs> beautiful day namaste